Science is a way of understanding the natural world by testing explanations against the natural world. That's what makes it a very special and a very useful way of knowing. And it is really the best way of knowing that we've come up with, we human beings have come up with for understanding the natural world. The best way of, of understanding the natural world is to use the methods of science. The methods of science are not necessarily unique. They're actually the methods of any kind of critical thinking. You would probably use them in history, or you might use them in some other areas where, where testing of ideas is very important. But to me, the thing that makes science really useful and, and a really, really good way of understanding the natural world is that we test our explanations against the natural world. And if our explanations don't hold up when we test them, then we abandon them. And we only provisionally keep them if they do match, the, match reality. Um, we tinker with them some more, we test them again, and we eventually come up with a pretty good way of understanding whatever that phenomenon was. Now, science is really an excellent way of, of understanding the natural world. You know, the terms that we use in science are used very specifically in science as terms of art, but they have very different meanings on the street, and this is a source of a lot of confusion. When scientists talk about fact, they're talking about confirmed observations. And facts are interesting, but they're not terribly exciting. They don't, they don't do a whole lot for you. Facts are a dime a dozen. There's facts all over the place. A hypothesis is a testable statement. You're saying, you know, what's the relationship between this and this? And you go out and test it, and you either accept or reject your, your uh, statement of that relationship. Hypotheses are very useful. They're very helpful. Uh, they, they help us build theory. Theories are the most important things in science. Theory to a scientist means explanation. And these are logical constructs of, of facts, of tested hypotheses, of laws, of all kinds of stuff that taken together and put in a logical descriptive fashion help us understand some kind of natural phenomenon. Most lay people think that theories are guesses or hunches or something that you don't have to take terribly seriously. It's not such a big deal completely opposite in science. Theories are the most important things in science. What a lot of, unfortunately, textbooks lead people to, to misunderstand is that a really good theory grows up into a law, as if uh, theories are, are refined and then become laws, and laws are somehow more important than theories. In science, actually, what a law is, is a descriptive generalization. So we talk about the laws of thermodynamics that tell you about um, heat under different circumstances. You hear about the laws and study the laws of uh, heredity that Mendel developed, the law of independent assortment and so forth. Descriptive generalizations. What's going to happen under a given situation, uh, given, given certain constraints, and uh, this, will, this will regularly happen? But laws are broken, uh, both in science as well as, as uh, in the real world. Um, the law of independent assortment, M Mendel's very important idea that the hereditary units uh, behaved independently of one another. Well, actually, that's true, except when the units, which now we call genes, are located too close together on the chromosome then they don't act independently. They're, they're passed down as, as, as a pair. So laws can be broken, but laws are just descriptive generalizations. They're very useful, they're very helpful. They're not as important as theories, because theories explain laws. So in general, the, um, the, the hierarchy of explanation is very different in science than it is in the general public. The general public puts, puts facts on top, laws next, um, hypotheses and then theories. Maybe theories and hypotheses can move around a little bit. In science, on the other hand, theories are the most important thing. Laws are next most important. Uh, hypotheses are next mo most important. And perhaps the least most important part of a scientific explanation is facts, because facts are a dime a dozen. And facts don't explain anything. <laughs>